Good afternoon, Corazon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Um, can you tell me about yourself? Yes, ma'am. I'm Corazon Vasquez Tragora, 40 years of age, and I have about three kids, a single mother. I have a few questions here for you to answer, Corazon, so let's start. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? I like to work as a maid because I know already that work. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I choose Malaysia just because uh, I know people in Malaysia, same here in the Philippines, have a good heart and kindness. How are you qualified for this job? I say I qualified that job just because I already uh, experience in abroad. May I know what your educational level is? Uh, I finished secondary college uh, degree, hotel and restaurant management. Okay, are you a college graduate? Uh, undergraduate, madam. Okay, what was your recent working experience? Uh, my recent work experience here in Philippines, I work in salon. Salon, okay. Have you worked abroad before? Yeah, I worked abroad before for almost uh, six years. Which country was that? Uh, two years in Riyadh and the other one, four years in UAE. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, I am. How about elderly? Yes, uh, yes, I am. Do you have any other special skills? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I know how to cook and uh, do nail, uh, nail polish, uh, pedicure, manicure. Okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. I'm really willing to learn more skills. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Uh, yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? Yeah, I'm still working in salon now here in the Philippines. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Uh, Arabic food and Filipino food. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do you like most? Uh, I like most uh, cooking and taking care of the baby. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your children? Uh, my sister-in-law, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. It's okay, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. No problem, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Okay, ma'am. No problem. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to do it anymore. Okay, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to go to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yeah, ma'am. No problem. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Uh, two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your attitude? Yeah, I'm hardworking, ma'am, and honest. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Uh, I assure you that I I assure you uh, that you uh, you it's because I'm hardworking. I said I said I am hardworking and honest also. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Of course, yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am, I promise. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? Nothing, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? Nothing. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you fit to work or medically yes. fit? Yes, ma'am. Fit to work. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? If, if she gave me money. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? Okay. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family members working here in Malaysia? No, okay, Corazon, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you, and I want you, Corazon, to answer me truthfully, okay? Yes, ma'am. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do, Corazon? Uh, I will do first ask my employer to tell my wife my problem is. And the employer will decide also what is the best for me. Okay, so if the employer will not allow you to go back? Okay, no problem. Okay, so how many years do you think is the contract? Two years, ma'am. Two years. So two years is two years. After that, yes. then you can have the vacation if you still want to continue the work. Okay, ma'am. So what will you do if in case you cannot go back once your one of your family member die? I will give also. If I will not go home, I will give the money. Oh, you will, will send the money for the funeral. Very ibang branch kasi depende sa. Okay. Anyway, again, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Ah. Uh, my, uh, I'm Corazon Basis Tragora, a single parent, a 14 years old of age. I have a three children, so I want to work in Malaysia just because I need to provide all the things for my children because they go in school and I will only the, you know, to give them all the, all they need. Okay. School, food, and the house. What do you want to tell to your...